service provider. If this is an emergency... Thank you for calling Safe Haven. How can I help you? Yes, I have been calling for domestic violence locations for years. They've either been full or couldn't help. Is that normal? For the shelter? Yeah, for five um, years for them to all shelters to be full or either can't help. Oh, I'm, I don't have that information. I wouldn't be able to answer that. Okay, well, who would be able to answer it? I can get you transferred to the shelter. The shelter? Okay, so if they're full, do they? is it normal to deny a person all services that the organization offers because they're full? For the shelter, I don't have that information. I don't know. Okay, well, That's what services do you offer at this location? Because they've been full years. Or either at the resource help. center, we have legal help, counseling, and case management. Okay, so you have legal. How do I get signed up for that, get that help? So you would have to speak to the hotline. They would ask you some questions to see if you qualify. And then we would get you scheduled with the case manager. Okay, well, can I get transferred to the operator or whoever? Yes, one second. Okay. Yes, would you be able to tell me if it's normal for all locations to be full or either can't help in domestic violence for years? Um, I know that it can stay pretty crowded. You know, that's a sad thing that um, there's that many cases of domestic violence. Okay, so if you're full, there's still all kind of other services that are offered, and I haven't been able to get them from a multitude of locations. Okay, what services are you needing? Um, legal and uh, case management. Alrighty. And what is your name? It's Kiana, K E Y A N A, Clark, C L A R K. I'm sorry, K E Y. Services for? No. Okay, just yourself right now. Right. Okay. Yes, I get stopped. And I have multiple false arrests by this situation that I'm in. And a lot of or um, help has been cut. I've been disconnected from a lot of help. Conspiracy to violate civil rights crimes have been, um, are in my abuse. So any ability to flee has been sabotaged for me for years. Police have even came trying to interrupt. Okay. Um, Kiana, what is your date of birth? I've been trying to report the conspiracy, well, the, the conspiracy to keep me away from my child for years. And nothing's been done. So I can use the services for the legal to see, have access to my child. They wanted me to pay $60 an hour to see my child. Each week, that'd be $120, and I'm on a fixed income. So, I, you know, I don't want to pay, have to pay to see my child. But if I have to, I will. But it's all slander. That's easily provable. Okay, and Kiana, what's your phone number? Um, have a few minutes. I'm going to get your information in the system and um, get you transferred over so that they can sign you up for services, okay? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So just bear with me really quick. Okay. She's muted. They don't normally sign me up for services. And when they finally do, a lot of times they're sabotaged. So that's good that she finally signed, is signing me up for services. Are the shelters full, huh? Um, I'd actually have to um, check for availability. Are you new shelter? I am. Or just outreach services? Outreach and shelter. Each place I've called for years, they've been full. So I just, yes. Real quick, so is your abuser physically abusive or sexually abusive or both? Um, physically. Okay, and what city are they in? They're not, um, they're in another state.
but they can, the person is able to control my situation from another state. Okay. Yes. Okay, so um, as far as shelter goes, um, I'm only able to offer other resources at this time. But if you are still wanting the outreach services, I can get you transferred over. Okay, so I don't qualify for shelter? Um, you do qualify for shelter. I'm just only able to offer resources at this time. I'm not understanding. I, are you saying that I only qualify for, uh, I don't qualify for shelter? That is not what I said. I'm not understanding why you're not able to offer shelter. It's something going on with our facility, so I'm only able to offer resources at this time. Okay, so you had me on hold all that time, and you said that it was something going on. It's going on, something going on with the facility, so no one's able to get shelter at this time. Because I, as I exp expressed that for years, I had, there's been catch twenty twos to keep me from shelter, years, and services. So my domestic violence crisis is a little bit more extreme because the government is inv involved in it. And they enlist uh, surrounding locations to deprive me of assistance to flee abuse and even show up and have a cane showed up pushing and shoving me in a multitude of locations out of corruption. But if you are not able to offer shelter and you is is are they working on the facility or what's the problem? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so when they're when you're full or when there's something going on, you don't keep advocating for that person to get them shelter. Um, I can give you other resources, and like I said, there's still, um, you know, you can get legal services and um, also the case management. Okay, but with the case management, they don't advocate for that person to find them shelter anywhere on the planet. Um, I, I'm sure that they do, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, well, yes, I'd like to go ahead and get started on whatever I need to do to get the case management and the advocacy to find shelter because I haven't been able to find it for years. That's why I asked okay. if that's a, a usual, uh, if that's unusual for someone not to be able to flee for years. I went to, um, I'm from Dallas at, originally, and I went to the um, Frank Crowley building where they do protection orders. And mm -hmm. corrupt people came and pushed and shoved me and forced me to leave trying to get a protection order. So that's, that makes me feel really fearful if they come to all my environments or they involve all my environments to help you know, help um, keep me in abuse. But anyway, okay, ma'am. Okay, so hang on just a second. Let me get you transferred over. Okay, thank you. I don't know. Um, I was transferred over. I asked to answer a whole bunch of questions, and they said that they were going to transfer me over to case management. Okay, you're needing to schedule an appointment? Yes. All right. And would you like to go to the Fort Worth or the Arlington location? Um, I'm not quite sure. I should have a lot of them, like 60 reports, but I can't get my records. Maybe that the legal aid could help because I have like 60-something reports, and they won't give me my records. Okay. Do you have an open CPS case? No, CPS won't open the case. I've tried. I uh, have a report number from CPS. Okay. And your phone number. It is. So I'm on hold. So for years, what they do when I come in, they'll scheme. They'll say that I recorded or come up with some kind of scheme to where I can't get services. Um, then uh, Mosiak just said that we're denying you services for no reason. So it's procedural. They are, someone is controlling my experience to make sure that these people don't help me. When I speak with the social workers, the police repetitively come interrupt. Can you just say how would that feel? You know, for people that have compassion to be in the experience and then either police come and force that you stay in abuse at CPS, and force that you are away from your child that you love. Screaming in terror at age eight, now 13, and I can't talk to her on the phone. And I have no access to a child that I was really close to, period. And then the other ones are scared. Hit and runs that they see that the police are covering for. All law enforcement is denied. 
So if this is just what the experience is, this is criminal, but it doesn't seem to be anyone getting charges for this. The, no deny me of um, courts, my uh, ability to appear at court almost all the time when it's, you know, um, an experience that is in corruption. If it's something that they did in corruption, they deprive me of my right to go to court. So I don't have any evidence of the experience. So I've been on hold about six or seven minutes for an appointment time. She hung up. I was on hold like 10, almost uh, 15 minutes and then she hung up.